see. It'll, it'll give it a bit of fun. <laughs> So my Sport Fury GT for 1970, a car that I've lusted after for a long time, saw one probably 25 years ago, actually it was an S23, and from that day I thought I'm going to get one of those one day. So I just had a bit of a look at over the years, and about six or seven years ago I found this car online and bought it. It's a bit rough, a bit scruffy, missing its original engine, but still a factory GT. I believe they made 666 of them but don't quote me on it. So you have to come along for the ride and watch me restore this car and get it on the road. One thing the car had going for it was it's beautiful and straight, in original paint, just uh, the usual rust on a 50 year old car, but that's something I can cope with. And then I've got a pretty spicy 440 Adelbrock heads, uh, make it go good. So that's it. So it's original paint, except for the lower quarters, which have been full of filler and God only knows what they did in the back there. This looks beautiful, not... You can see how much lovely work they've done there. There's general little bits of rust in the boot floor. It's not terrible, there's a couple of tiny patches in the main floor on one passenger side front. A little bit on both front guards. Uh, the bonnet shot, I've got another replacement bonnet for it, and so is the boot lid. So it has definitely got some issues. Front balance, looked like it was run over by the Southern Aurora. Can't get them, only one year only. So I've already made a start, because I can't wait. So I picked the worst panel. So this is the right hand quarter panel, and this was just full of absolute, look at the filler in here filler and they put FOMO fill in there, sprayed expanding foam. So what I'm doing is a over the wheel arch repair. I've already replaced a section on the inside of the wheelhouse, I'll show you that. So I've just made this piece for the quarter panel. So there's just a section of the wheel, it's pretty like what I did on the charger actually. But what I'm trying different on this car is I'm planning to use the panel bond glue, the modern glues I use for putting roofs and things on cars. And I plan to try and glue this patch in position. The reason I'm doing it is because this has got a seven and a half foot quarter panel and it's perfectly straight. Now I know if I go welding that rust repair panel in like normal, no matter how hard you try, you're gonna distort that and it'll have a great big woof in it and you'd have to somehow try and get it straight again. So I glued this patch panel in, which I'm gonna try. I'll get no distortion, so it'll just be a simple repair down below the body line. Lower quarters are no trouble because the body line's quite high, so I can do a repair down there and won't distort the quarter panel. The piece over the wheel arch is glued in now and I plug welded to the wheelhouse and then I've set up the lower quarter panel ready to be welded in. Anyway, so it's a new project ready to start. Well, already started. We've got a, uh, you can't see it, got a brand new 440 down there in plastic covered there for it. Should it be a pretty healthy engine? I've already re the interior in the past. This car's, I've had this car for six years. It's been waiting its turn, so um, I've been mean, looking forward to getting onto it. So it's something a bit different you don't see every day of the week. Uh, can't wait to see it all shiny and back on the road. The left hand quarter has been roughed out, cut out the rust section, and now I'm hand making the lower quarter. So this is me in the plenishing hammer, and now rolling the shape onto the back of the front corner, the leading edge, and just getting into a shape where I can start offering it up to the car and make sure it all fits. This quarter panel is not as bad as the other side. As you can see from the mess, I've been having lots of fun. <laughs> been uh, working rust again. The next car, the Fury. It's 
Let's spin around and have a bit of a look. There's a fury there. The next project. And have a look at the mess we're making. Been having lots of fun using my new equipment. The uh, plenishing hammer is working very well, made up the lower quarters. This is a bit different than doing the last car, the Charger, because it's all, uh, you can't buy any parts for these cars, sheet metal wise anyway. So I had to reclaim a used boot floor out of a local Dodge Phoenix, which is the same as our, as the 70 Fury. So that panel's close to going back in the car. Here's the remnants of the piece that I got. As you can see, there's crap everywhere. Same as the car, looks like it's fallen to bits, all the sheet metal. It's come out. There's the remainders of the floor and all the bits and pieces, all the junk. Luckily, good chassis rails, all cross members, all the uh, boot channels are good. So nothing like doing the uh, the charge I did last. This is more typical, pretty much for a 50-year-old car doing boot floor and lower quarters. Usual areas where the uh, water gets in. So here we have it. We're moving on. We've done quarter panels on both sides. This side has just got a rough layer of filler on it. It's not smoothed out properly yet. But you can see all the metal work on inside the quarter panel. And this side was almost identical. I had to do the uh, quarter panels on this side as well. Like I said, just roughed out. Not. I'll go forward on that on the bodywork as I go. At the moment, it's just about fabrication. And I can't even think about the rest of the car yet. I just have to concentrate on what I'm doing now. And then we'll look at the rest of it. After I finish all the rust in the back, that's when I'll start going forward. So. Okay, with that curved around a lot more, let's see what it looks like now. Add a bit more. Need to bring that back a bit more. Always lots of manipulating with the uh, whatever you can get to make it work. Okay, so if you look at it now, I still think I can massage this up a little bit when I finally pull it in. I can get a tack going up here so it won't pull down and then I can pull it in at the bottom. But if you look at the shape of that, I know that it's got to come up here yet. I haven't worked with that part yet. And you look at the other side. I think it's looking closer than what it was before. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make a little triangular piece in here, which won't be hard to do, but I'm going to work on this body line now. little overlap I'm going to make sure that the step is a bit further down so that I have a little basic little gap where you can run the welding and then hopefully buff it off pretty flat so I could do this on the Jenny now okay so we're going to break a nice little shoulder down on this little line now 
and that'll give it a bit of stiffness and a little, and hopefully it'll end up being flush. It's not perfectly straight, unfortunately, doing it by hand is a bit hard on your own, but it won't matter. As long as you get the shoulder and it ends up flush, you're going to put a bit of smear, a bit of fill over it anyway. It's not going to be filler free. Okay, now we're getting much closer, a bit at a time. So now the panel line here is a bit too straight on my patch piece. I've a bit more curve in it to match the quarter panel when it lays in position. So I'm hoping that I'm going to stretch that line there and see if I can get the curve out of it. So this is the opposite to what we did before. I think stre stretching is the wrong way. <laughs> I think we'll try shrinking it. That's a good thing about it, you can just do a little bit at a time and just see what effect it has. You can already see with that little bit of work, it's got a bit of a curve going now. I've got to try it on the car and see if I've got the right shape. It's amazing how much shape goes into it. Okay, it's uh, roughed out. I've got to slowly line this up and tack it in place, carefully stitching it along and quenching it. Keep the, try and keep the temperature out of it too much so it doesn't shrink too much. But we've got a plug weld in down the bottom, fully welded that end. Blend it in here. This is actually butt joined through here. Um, so yeah, this is the overlap. So I've just got to uh, work on that next. Keep it cool, and a little bit of work just cleaning up the corner. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to make a little piece go in there because it's it's hard to work all that in advance when you're only doing a once off. So anyway, pretty happy with the result so far. So good. So I just got a series of tack welds so I don't get too much heat into it, so I don't get too much distortion. And then now I've got to have it with a wet rag, I'm going to st st stitch all those little welds together and make a one long continuous weld. Quenching it along the way all the time with a wet rag, trying to keep the temperature out of the steel. But so far I can tell it's looking pretty good. I've got a straight edge across the repair. Hasn't, hasn't pulled in very much at all. So I think by the time uh, I carefully wild it in, it's going to look really good. Okay, so, so end result. Very happy with the result. There will be, there is a, a very fine line, like a little groove down there where if I had to spend more time stepping the panel a bit closer to the joint, I would have got a better flusher joint than that, but nevertheless, I'll put a little thin smear of um, fiberglass body filler in there just to, just a line over that just to seal it because uh, the fiberglass body filler is non-porous if you put regular filler and you missed a pinhole you can potentially get water bleeding in but even though I'm going to run a little bead of uh, fiberglass filler there and then on the inside of the quarter panel I'll be brushing in seam sealer and then I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to uh, put some cavity wax in there in the end so I should never have any problems in the future and then I've just fitted up my wheel lip moulding which fits up nice I had to make a little corner in here a little corner piece but you know it's steel so you can weld it I mean ideally it'd be nice to be able to make that in one piece but I'm not that clever <laughs> so it's good clean solid it'll seal and it won't rust and come back so that's the main thing on to the next job also another little trick or just a good guide, particularly on larger repairs like the lower quarter panel, is to run a straight edge across. So a rule of depending on the length of the repair, it's nice to have that going across your repairs and if you've got that pretty flat, you'd be pretty happy with yourself. 
because it looks like very little distortion. That should be ideal. It's still going to have a thin smear of filler on it, but it certainly won't be a lot. It'll just be a little thin smear of filler just to straighten it out perfectly flat. Here we go. This is Lebanon Raceway in New York. It's a uh, car show, swap meet with some drag racing. Pretty cool. Lots of early 70s cars. And this is a 70 Roadrunner six barrel automatic in burnt orange metallic and a white trim. Similar car that I built. Quite a nice example. Beautiful in the sun, I think. It's lovely. Nicely detailed engine bay. Handy for a few tips if you're building one as well. And that's the first off, 68 road runners. This is the basic 3-3 car. Subdued in that light green. Another 68. This is a super rare car, a 70, sorry, a 69 Charger 500 with a Hemi in it, 426. Rally red, good looking car. Worth a lot of money too, I'd imagine. Once again, beautiful shiny paint, beautiful restored. Lovely. There you go. All right, another road runner, sixty-eight. Nice road runner. Basically stock. Bit unusual being in the factory black. Nice. Hey, what's the name of the place here again? Lebanon Valley. Dragway. Did you catch that? Lebanon Valley Dragway. <laughs> Lebanon Valley, New York. Right, New York. Yeah. You're gonna This is a nice 70 GDX. Look at that. That looks great. Oh it's around 11.5 street trim. That's pretty good. This out, original, unrestored. That's cool. Hemi 4 speed coronet, how yeah, cool is that?
this one's for Harry. 68 Super B. 426. Wow. The size of that motor. It's cool. Beautiful paint. Four speed as well. Looks good. 65 Belvedere. Looks pretty mean. Looking harried like that. Four speed manual again. Big block. Exhaust manifolds, cool. Yeah, max wedge manifolds. That's cool. Oh, 40 model Ford Coupe. That's pretty cool. Runner, that's nice. Air grabber. What's in it? 440. Oh, like Paul's car. Also, four speed. Four speeds are in here. Dirt. That's nice too. 